Hi guys, Matt from 123MyIT here. If you have a new iPhone 13, 13 mini, 13 Pro, or 13 Pro Max, this video will show you how to transfer your data from any iPhone to any of the iPhone 13 models. So if you have the iPhone 13 Pro, like this one on the right, or any other iPhone that's new to you, then this video will help you move contacts, messages, music, photos, videos, and app data. This also includes apps like WhatsApp, but remember you will need the WhatsApp password to transfer those apps. There are three ways to transfer your iPhone data. You can back up and restore from iCloud, sync and back up to iTunes on a Windows or Mac computer, or you can transfer wirelessly. I will show you how to transfer wirelessly because you don't need a computer and it's the easiest way. If you have already set up your phone and you are on the home screen, unfortunately you will have to reset the new phone. If you don't want to reset your iPhone, then you can do a backup and restore from iCloud, or backup and restore from iTunes. To reset your phone, go into Settings, General, and scroll down to Transfer or Reset iPhone. Once you are there, tap on Erase Content and Settings, and then tap Continue, and then Skip Backup. If you get prompted for the Apple ID, enter it now, if you have two-factor authentication turned on, it might send an SMS or a code to one of your other devices. Swipe to the two-factor authentication page and enter your code. It should now start the reset process, but if it doesn't, go into settings and then tap on your name and then tap on sign out. Enter your password again and then tap on turn off. Tap sign out, and then sign out again. Okay, go back into transfer or reset the iPhone, and then tap on erase all content and settings again, and then continue, and then erase iPhone. Once your iPhone has reset itself, go ahead and select the country and language. You should see a quick start screen appear on your old iPhone. If you don't see the quick start screen on your old iPhone, make sure the Bluetooth is turned on and you can also press the sleep wake power button to put the device to sleep and then tap it to wake it up again. Tap continue, and you should get the little blue animation now. There you go, the little blue animation has come up. Scan it with the rear camera on your old iPhone. Now at this stage you might need to enter your old iPhone passcode on your new phone. It didn't come up for me because I turned it off before starting the transfer process. Follow the prompts to set up Touch ID or Face ID on your new iPhone. Finally, tap continue and agree to start the data transfer from your old iPhone to your new iPhone 13. Almost there, follow a few more prompts to set up your iPhone until you get to the transferring data from iPhone screen. There it is, so all your data should be copying across now. It actually might take some time depending on how much data you had on your old iPhone. You should keep the two phones close by and make sure they're plugged into power. Your new iPhone will restart itself and when you log back on, check that all your data has transferred across OK. If you have a SIM card, you can transfer it now. 
Cool, so you notice straight away that it, it has the same uh, background as your old iPhone. So it looks like all the apps and data have, cro have copied over. You can see our apps Angry Birds and Geekbench are still downloading and copying over. And if we go ahead and check our photos are all in there and we should have the same photos. Yep, they've all copied across as well. Also guys, don't forget to check out my other videos such as how to transfer data from Android to iPhone 13. And do me a favor, if you know anyone who might like this video, please share it with them. Hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon.